Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I, I came across this video today, and I really, really want to respond to it, but um, this is going to be another one of those videos that you're going to want to download, just in case. Alright? Anyway, I found this video that I'm going to respond to now absolutely fascinating, and I couldn't pass up the opportunity, so here we go. Well, this is my response to you. As you can see, this is my pick, and I'm wearing my pride, and I will not take it off, and I do not support AXA, period. Okay, so for those of you that are not up to speed, AXA was a, a little girl who was murdered by her father because she refused to wear her hijab, which is what um, Robina, I believe your name is, um, that's what she's wearing in the picture in her video here. This little girl was murdered by her father for refusing to wear one. What's wrong with you, America? Is that whenever you have a crime done by a Muslim, you'll make all this propaganda and make the story really big one. But if the same, exactly the same story is happening to a Jew or a Christian, you will not dare talk about them just for the sake of proving you wrong on this one point um, if I heard a story about a man a, a Christian man killing his small child because she refused to go to church one Sunday or she refused to wear her crucifix that he got her on her sweet 16 birthday party um, I would turn this fucker over my knee and give him a proper spanking um, a quick perusal of my videos would tell you that I'm completely unbiased when it comes to what religion I attack. Um, I don't discriminate. I think it's all very time-wasting and, for the most part, really, really dangerous. But, all right, moving on. And, yes, I have to admit, I cannot take off my hijab even if I want to. This is very uh, impossible. Yes, you can, and no. No, it's not. It's not the Muslim community that I'm afraid of. It's not people around me that I'm afraid of. By the way, I'm a very courageous person. I can do whatever I want to do. If I want to take off my hijab, I will take it off, as simple as this. But you just said not 30 seconds ago that you, it was impossible for you to take off your hijab and I said that it was but now you say that you will if you want to but I take it that you don't want to so let's hear why there is something that I fear I fear Allah I fear God and that's why I keep wearing my hijab and do you know what's wrong with you in America is that you don't have these values what values? That would be my question to you. What values? Fear? The fear brought on by religion? Um, actually, yes, Rabina, the, um, the majority of the American population would define themselves as Christians. So uh, they do fear God. Call me crazy, but fear will never be something that I consider to be valuable. Never. I don't care what form it takes, what fear it is. Um, if it's fear brought on by religious dogma, I really don't see the value in it. It didn't stop this man from murdering his child, and it doesn't stop Americans from committing crimes. And that's why she has no support from me period well you know what I feel sorry for you I feel sorry for women in America and Europe well look at any advertisement is a woman being used to sell the product how old is she how, how attractive is she what is she wearing more often than not 
That woman will be no older than her early twenties, taller, slimmer, and more attractive than average, dressed in skimpy clothing. Why do we allow ourselves to be manipulated like this? Whether the nineties woman wishes to believe it or not, she is being forced into a mold. She is being coerced into selling herself, into compromising herself. This is why we have thirteen years old girls in America sticking their fingers down their throats and overweight adolescents hanging themselves. It seems to me that you have this um, sort of obsession with Western women, Western culture. And I don't know if you realize it or not, but um, you're, you're putting all women in America into sort of a stereotypical category that doesn't exist. And it's really probably quite offensive to all of them. Ultimately, you're missing the point here. Um, you haven't really stopped to ask the question, why is it that there are 13-year-old young women with their fingers jammed into their throats? Why are overweight young women hanging themselves, committing suicide? Fear, Rabina. That emotion that you were referencing only a moment ago, that's the reason. They're afraid. They're afraid that they won't get the guy. They're afraid that they won't be popular. They're afraid that they won't make the cheerleading squad. They're afraid that their classmates won't look at them in the same way they look at the other pretty girls in class. They're afraid. They're terrified. And, and that's the problem. And the problem that you seem to have is that you don't understand that your submission to fear is no better than theirs. They have submitted their minds to fear and so have you. I don't care if, if you want to wear the hijab, if you, if you want to submit to the fear that you've admitted to here, but why criticize women that are just as afraid as you are. You know, I would encourage any young woman not to be afraid, not to jam her finger in her mouth, not to commit suicide, not to wear a hijab, not to do anything because they are afraid. It's not a good enough reason for anyone, man or woman, as a matter of fact. But you get a good night's sleep tonight and I'll toss and turn. You can leave it to people like me to say to all young women, whether or not they're wearing a, a hijab, whether or not they're anorexic or bulimic, no matter what form of fear that they've submitted themselves to, you can leave it to people like me to urge them to not be afraid anymore. Don't be afraid anymore. Don't submit to fear. This is what happens when you submit to fear. But if you're going to do the same thing that they are, just in a different way, try not to be so harsh in your criticism of their fear when you suffer from it yourself. That's all I'm saying. You want to wear the hijab? Wear it. But realize and understand why you're wearing it. And it has absolutely nothing to do with liberation.